Hi all and welcome to my new channel. This is the first video in my first video series which is going to be becoming a self-taught luthier from scratch. If you don't know what luthier is um, and you didn't get it from the thumbnail, it is the craft of building guitars. I'm going to focus on acoustic guitars because I think they've probably got more depth to them and more to learn and it'd be more interesting. So firstly, before I even do any kind of guitar building or any of that process at all, I'm going to need to fix up the workspace to work in. And this is what I've got. So at the moment, it's not workable. The roof is leaking. As you can see, there's water damage and it's just crumbling apart. So I need to deal with that first, which is step one. I've bought some 10 year roof sealant. I was going to felt, but that seemed harder. This just, you can apply it direct onto damp surfaces and it's just gonna be a rubberized roof seal. Should last 10 years, that does for me, that works. That's not a problem. So I think I'm going to get on with scraping off all the rubbish on the top, sweeping up, clean it up, and then apply some roof seal. See you there. Okay, so as you just saw, so we just finished scraping and sweeping all the roof, which was quite a task. I'm quite tired now. I'm just on the way to B and Q to pick up a roller so that I can roll up the rubberized C 
ceiling on top of the flat roof. But I just thought while I was here, it would be best to check the weather. And uh, it turns out it's raining all afternoon. So we're not doing it today because that would be pointless. And uh, I'm going to wait till tomorrow because it's sunny all day. And we could probably get both coats on because we've got two tins to put one curl on top of the other. So it's a proper seal. So we'll leave it till tomorrow. I'll go get my roller and we'll get back to it. See you later. Hi, welcome back. So it's a new day today. Uh, we've got no rain forecast today, so it's a perfect day for me to do the roof sealant. We had crazy, crazy wind last night, so earlier on I jumped up on top of the roof and I thought I'd give it a little sweep off, just in case anything kind of blew up there. And whilst I was doing so, I realised that I completely estimated how much roof sealant I'm actually going to need. Uh, I've got two tins, and each one covers five metres squared. So I've got ten metres squared total, which seems like loads, but they tell you to do two coats so <clears throat> I measured the roof that I've got Let me just turn this down. I've got a shared roof with a neighbour so this is the entire building I've got a dotted line and we've got my half here which I've measured to be 1.8 by 4.2 so we've got a space of 7.56 meters squared that I need to fill so I've got a little bit left over so I've not really got one coat, I've got more than one coat, I've got less than two coats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay one thick coat on the roof. Because what I should mention is even though the ceiling is okay on a concrete roof, my roof is completely pitted on top. There's loads of holes, so I'm thinking I'll lay a thick coat down and then I'm going to see how it how it is over the, over the weeks. And if it needs another one, I'll buy another one or two and I'll stick it on top. But if, it, if I can get away with this, I'm going to do that. So let's go and get that done. So I just quickly thought I'd show you this while I mix this with this old chisel. This is the stuff I've got to seal it with. I suppose it's just like a rubberized liquid sealant. Got hard enough. It's kind of got the consistency of like a thick custard. <laughs>
Right, so I just cut that video short there just so I could uh, get everything off the roof and um, just finish up that portion of it just from the ladder I was working on. Um, I'll just run across the screen a quick before and after so you can see what's going on. And as you can see, it's completely cleared up, way better. A um, bit of pooling water up there, so it is holding the moisture up there. It's not getting through. I've checked inside. It's been a couple of days since and we have had a little bit of rain. And I've checked inside and everything looks okay. A little bit of condensation over by the door, but I'm not sure yet if that's coming from above or just because the door's naff and um and it's just got condensation up there but it's not a problem if i have any trouble going forward i will just stick another one up there um which will definitely sort the issue but yeah for all intensive purposes i'm happy with what's been done um it creates a nice watertight workspace for me to work in and something for me to move on and um, so that brings us to the end of this video um if you join us in the next one, we'll be making a workbench for me to work. Nice big workbench in here. Um, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe, leave a like. If you've got any feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Leave a comment and let me know. This is my first venture of making a channel, making videos, editing. This is all new to me. Even the luthier side of guitar making is completely new. So if you've got any advice or anything you want to give for me as feedback, please leave it in the comment section. And I'll definitely be reading that. Have a wonderful day, take care, see you later.